What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. I want to thank my sponsor, Steel Supplements, right now in the midst of their summer sale. You want to stock up at the best price? You want to get some freebies? Depends on how much you spend. Now is the time to do it. And my Glance LED, listen, if you're a gamer, if you're a sports fan, it is an absolute must-have. All you need to do, plug in the unit. It's going to give you live data from NBA, if you want to keep up to date with the playoffs, NHL, NFL when the season starts again, Major League Baseball in full swing, pun intended. All you need to do is get a unit, plug it in, tell it what you want to see. It's going to keep you up to date at a glance, not just sports, but stocks, news, weather. I use this thing every single day. I want to thank Sirius Entertainment for posting this on Twitter. And we are going to have a discussion because some foreboding there, a lot more trouble because this is an issue that this game has had for years. And it's such a simple fix. It's such a common sense issue that you don't even need to understand football to know that this shouldn't be happening. Basic programming. So I show it to you here at speed. We're going to go back. And you know what? It's not all bad. We're going to look at the good. But the good is totally ruined by the bad. So first of all, I sometimes feel like Madden's pockets seem a bit scripted because this pocket, as you watch it form, is very good. But everything kind of clicks into place here. So you really do get a perfect pocket, whether you want to step up to throw, whether you want to scramble, but it just looks too clean. However, we do still have some issues with curls. And a lot of times it's just lack of player awareness. So as you can see, we've got a player that ran out to do a curl, which is fine. But we need some variation. You really don't need to just be standing here, still in the middle of the field. Not only does it cause them to stand still, but it also causes the defender to not react. But the bigger issue in this play is not that. It's the fact that Madden has really yet to learn that human beings cannot run in a direct straight line. So as you watch this, I want you to understand, you really can't see the lion in front of the raven. Makes it impossible to read unless you're aware that the player's even there. But they are running identical lines front to back. So the raven does not have the capacity to run around the defender. And this is such broken logic that as the ball comes in, you again can't tell me if you're just looking at this play and I pause it and I show you right here and I say, how many players are here? You're going to say two. You're going to say there's a raven and there's a lion. But the reality is there's actually a lion nestled in front of the raven. And that is actually who is going to get the interception here because they're running in a straight line, which is not possible. And when you watch what happens, the receiver actually turns into the defender. And I hate this animation, as does anyone that's ever had to see it. Because what's going to happen is the receiver is going to actually be attacking the ball as the defender. He goes up and actually makes the catch. The receiver doesn't even make an attempt. His focus here has been tackling. This is an awful animation that you have no control over when it starts. And we really need to get to the point where players stop running in complete straight lines, in tandem, not able to move around each other, where the user can't even see what's going on. Love to know your guys' thoughts on this. Appreciate you watching it. You know I will be back in the week with more commentary.